Hi guys. Boom shakalaka boom. Thought I'd say something besides hi guys. It's me. It's Candace. I'm back. Woohoo. <laughs> anyway. Well, I think this is the last time I can use this little clip because, yep, she had two pizzas. So, when I opened it up, I thought, well, we're not going to be writing on this front page since we just did that. So, let's put some sequins in our flowers. I know. You know. <laughs> Can't do without it. So, I'm just going to mark a few little places with my pencil where I want to put some sequins. Well, you know, I don't know if I'm seeing those very good, so <laughs> let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of damage I can get myself into. Oh, so, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, you know, I like blue, but I didn't realize how much I really like blue until I started doing this. These are just... Janie, thank you for putting these designs in that number six bundle, because, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you know, you gotta be uneven, because they are just, this is just beautiful. They are just so happy, so cheerful, so uplifting. I mean, I like the Faded Roses ones, but I'm really liking this one, too. I like them all. You know, you know I'm a, a seriously Janie B. Journals addict, so. And I haven't even made it, anyway, I haven't even looked at all of the stinking digitals that I have. Because there's just so many of them. Oh my God, and they're just, just beautiful. Uh-oh. Shot those sequins across the room. Yeah, so the other day when I was at Hobby Lobby, I went ahead and bought a few more of these things because I want to put my my big ones into it, my big sequins, just because I do like how these stack better instead of how I have them. But, you know, sometimes you just don't know how you're going to do something. I could tell you, I don't know if, I, if I'm going to like this, this iridescent one. Well, it's not so bad. I'm okay with it. These have more of a, a pinky yellow hue to them instead of blue, but there's a lot of pinks and yellows in here, so it goes just fine. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and stick some in on this one just to give these flowers a little more personality. Oh, I think I need one more over there. Oh. All right, so let's do... Ooh, that was almost a little too much glue on that one, but it'll dry clear. Oops, there goes another one. Oh, about to lose another one. No. I know I'm quiet. You know, you gotta think when you put these sequins on. Cause it's like that and pretty woman when she, you know, does those snails, <laughs> they shoot across the room. You know, and then the dogs will eat them. Oh, 
Oh, I still have one over there. Oh my gosh. Do I want a white one or do I want a blue one? I think I want a light blue one. As my glue dries. No! Okay. Back away from the rhinestones. I just wanted it to have a little bit of oomph oomph in there. Okay, so when you open it, you're like, whoo, sparkle. All right, so let me see. I know, now I'm going to get, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I might have to put some little sparkle jelly on the, on the leaves. Give them some veins with some sparkles. Oh, and outline it. You know, you can't put sequins on there if you don't have sparkle in your leaves. It's just like putting eyeshadow on. No, no uh, mascara. What's the point? This reminds me of a flamingo face, just because of the little pink, his little beak. And when you draw a little eyeball on there. I know flamingos are not green, but hey, they could be. You can make them any color you want. Did y'all know flamingos are born white? And they, they turn pink in their, when they're in their adulthood? Yeah, kind of cool. I know, I gotta think when I do this too. I wasn't supposed to be doing this, but you know. Don't let a a glitter holic loose in the in the glitter factory. Oh no, that is way too dark. I know I got a, a darker green back here. Yep. So oh, I saw Gail's other um Etsy share with her new little her little line of stuff like I said I love hearing her get so excited a kid in candy store alright like I said just giving it a little bit of extra bling so when you open it up it kind of sparkles and shines at you I know y'all might have said she just ruined those flowers I might have but I think they're pretty so we're just going to color in these circles give them a little more sparkle But yep. Now I've got to give it a minute to dry. Well, heck, I wasn't thinking about that. So let me flip my page. That's the one that we just did earlier. Well, yesterday. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to back these, and we're going to put them on this page. But I'm going to set this over here. So these can, so that page can dry. My little rhinestones can, can dry. Let me just, I always have to go back over and push them with my fingers just to make sure they're down flat. Okay. So now, we're going to back this on some book page to reinforce them. I guess we can get that one out of here. And let me see, are these all the right, the same size? 
Yep. I'm just going to leave this white around there because we're going to ink around it anyway. So, obviously, that one's a hair bigger than this one. So, I uh, might be trimming them down after we, we glue them. I don't know. They don't have to be even now, do they? No, no. They could be a little bit off. I might leave them. I know. See? Getting a little braver. Let's put them on here. Oh, I gotta pull some more book page out of my book. Make sure where my limit is. Yep. Okay. Well, let me just pull two pages out of here. I'm sure I'm going to need another book page down the road. Oh, I just tore it. Doggone it. Oop, hold on. My little stack fell. Got my little stash down here of books that I use. Okay. All right, let's glue these other ones on here. So we can get another project done. I know a lot of you have probably seen me do this project, but you know it's different just because you have different papers and I like doing it so, oh, well, you'll like it too when it's done. Yeah, all my in-laws still have no power, but sometimes it takes a while to get it. I know the last one we were in in Houston before we came here, I believe it was Ike. We were without, we were without power for three weeks, so... But you just kind of expect it when you live there. It's part of the norm, unfortunately. Okay, so let me move this so we can do a little more drying. See, I'm thinking I might need another sequin up there because that one's too even. See, I looked at it. No, don't let me look at it. <laughs> you must move on. No looking back. I'm telling you, these journals talk to me in my sleep. I'll be, I'll, you know, be upstairs trying to sleep, and one will tell me, "No, you've got to come and 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 do this or do that." We don't like how you did this, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" And sure enough, I have to come down the next day and and mess with it. <clears throat> I know. It's a scary thought now, isn't it? <laughs> Does anybody else's journals talk to them? <laughs> oh. Now, I will be worried if I wake up and it's standing over at the end of my bed, you know, with like a spear in its hand or something. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I might have to get out of doing this because that's just a little too much for me. A little too much on the freaky side. Oh. Whoops. Well, I got a little overzealous on that one. I guess that's where the <laughs> the distress ink's going to come to save the day. <laughs> it's like, here I am to save the day. So anyway. Yeah. If 
Quackadoo, quackadoo, quackadoo. All right, let's ink around it. And then our, whatever those are, sequins should be, should be done. And I'm beginning, I'm thinking I might sew around this. So I might have to put you on pause. I'm just going to ink around these. And then I think I am going to sew them. Because the last one I didn't. But these are a little bigger than the last two that I did. So I got a little room for sewing. All right. So let me finish inking around here. Then I'll go sew them. And then I will be back. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. I'm back. I have my little pocket sewn. I don't know how I did not ink that little spot. But let me ink it. Okay, let me just glue my little strings down. I know. I just like to glue it to make sure it stays there. I don't know if I'm going to trim these little frays off or, or not. You know, the one good thing about leaving string is that whoever gets the journal, they can cut it off or leave it on there, whatever they feel like it. Okay, let's see. So it looks like my, whoops, my string's in the way, that's what it looks like. All right. Looks all my, my sequins are, have glued. Um, and are dry, and I went ahead and added that extra one because it was just too even and it had to be like, whew, had to be a little off for me. All right, I know. Some things that I can take off and some I can't. Okay, so if you hadn't figured by now, I'm going to do one of my wonky pockets. And then have these that I I did. Oh, I didn't ink around them though, but these are, uh, there's five of the little um, cards from the, I backed them on the little Argyle, from the Flower Market Blue packet that we're using. So I just put those all on some card stock and I'm going to use them as my cards inside here. So let me figure out where I'm going to be doing my, because I need to make sure my card doesn't stick out too much up top. And then i got to have room in case I want to do something over there, which I'm already talking myself into doing something over there. So I might have to do something over there before I do this. I know. Y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay, so where are we going to put on here? I don't know. i got to put my paper clip up. There we go. All right, so we have that other one. How far away is it from here? Don't want them to be too close. Well, heck, I don't need... Oh, there it is. Way over there. Okay, and that's not even the one I thought I was using. All right, so let's do... I think the daisies, maybe. Not those daisies, my other little flowers. Because I think that will go pretty. Just a little bit on the side, not too awful much. So, but then again, I swear I've used that. <laughs> oh, maybe I just dreamt it. That's a good possibility, you know. Oh, it's on that journal card, so that's not so bad. I was thinking it was here, but that's that was the stripe one. And I was thinking it was here, but no, that was something else. So, uh, I guess I just dreamt that one. Okay, good. I'm all right with that. Okay, now, I don't want it to be straight. So, but I do want a left-handed ruler, too. <laughs> all right, so I want to do one and a half. So let me just cut it down one and a half over here so my edges are straight and 
Then let's see. You know, because even though it's a whole piece of paper, it does shrink a little bit when you coffee dye it. So, but if it's going to be right on top of that line, so let's just go right on top of that line, and we should be good. All right, and then we're just going to kind of tear it because you know we don't want anything that's perfect. Except everything else in the journal. <laughs> the sides can be wonky, but not the insides. Oh, okay. All right, and let's ink. Oh, let me put a few things up because in my way, in my way. Got to put that other ink up. That's what's causing the back up there. All right, so I just want to put a little cup more color down the side since the pockets are a little, little plain. But you can't get too, too busy with them or else you can't tell that they're there. Okay, that's that one. And then I'm just going to leave the little extra white that's on here because, you know, it's a little different. Uh-oh. I'm crumbing. No. Call the sponge police. I'm crumbing. Doggone it. Those things don't last long. And then have y'all noticed that Hobby Lobby isn't carrying the Tim Holtz little refills anymore? That all of their paper studio items have, since last year, been converted over to their brand and so you no longer you know when they run the the sale you can't get anything from the paper studio because all of their the stuff that they're doing the generic Hobby Lobby brand just like you know the Tim Holtz these things the inkers and stuff the foam pads or whatever they are so you have to get them at Joann's um, and then you only get I don't even know not quite as many as you used to that you get from the Tim Holtz Ranger ones but you get less in the Hobby Lobby pack and you know I don't know y'all they know they got us but I don't appreciate it sometimes it's just too much money for that stuff but then again that's why they are billionaires and we're not Okay, so that just gave that page a little more on fees. But I am going to have to... No, I don't want to use my good scissors. Just in case there's a little glue, let's use the... The everyday whatever scissors. Ow. Let me just ink a little more up there since I did give it a, a slight hair trim. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put this one down this side, so that way when we put, oh, hello, our little pockets on here, there's a little more going on on the sides instead of just the, the plain coffee dye paper. Because you can't write in there really anyway, so let's make it pretty. Let's give it a little more personality. I know. Apparently that's my word today. I just realized I've said it a few times. Oh, it's because I got that song from Letty Kravitz in my head now. Trumped up personality. <laughs> Alright, nothing like some good old paper washi, you know? Don't have the washi that you like? Make your own. There we go. All right, now back to the to the game plan. Okay. My little strings to be hanging. No, I talked myself into it. Okay, now did I have it like this, or did I have it like like that? Oh, I think I had it like that. 
think I like it like that. Hey, baby. Oh, no. Okay, so now I just got to find which flowers I want at the top, which I think I'm going to do this one and this one maybe. Or maybe just one up top and the rest. I don't know, but. So we got to move this down. Because we don't want it to poke out too much. And we don't want it to be too perfect, you know. Ow. Okay. So, where's my pencil? I know I want that one to be there. I want this one to be there. And I'm wanting this one to be there. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, so we're just going to glue the sides around. See, a couple more of watching me do these wonky pockets. Y'all will be wonky pocket, <laughs> wonky pocket experts. And you don't have to sew around them. Like I said, usually a lot of the other ones, the, when you get them, you know, too small, then it, it's you know, too much sewing is just too much. So, oops, and did I? No, I wasn't running my mouth too bad. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, the larger the wonkiness, you know, the larger the journal and stuff, the bigger that you can have your pockets. And so, you don't have to sew them. They look just fine without. So, see, I need this to go underneath here. So, I want to glue this one on first. Or else it wouldn't be a wonky pocket. It'd just be a, a layered pocket, which are cute as can be. But I like my wonkies. I like my wonkies. Okay. So we have this one, which is kind of the same angle as the one down below, but oh well. Now it doesn't look the same. See? I'm un unevenly even <laughs> without even trying. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. <laughs> I love glue in and nothing else. Okay, so. Then we'll be able to stick our things in there. And see, that extra hair is going to drive me crazy. So, I'm just going to trim this one off. Trim that one off. And maybe that. Just a little bit. So, we gave it a little haircut. Not much. Alright. Let me set my blocks on there real quick. While I ink around here pencil up. Oops. Hold on. I got to lick my little butterfly back so it sticks there before I lose him. He's my favorite little butterfly so he hangs up on my hangs out on my little stopwatch. Alright, so I'm just inking around these. And, you know, I will just, I think I'm just going to leave them square because, I don't know. You know, there's always, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> it could talk to me tonight, y'all, and tell me to cut them. So, I will have to wake up and comply. And I can tell you right now, this has a little bit of extra on it that, I don't like because I can see it. So let me trim that off. Alright. Much better. I know. Whoops. 
fly away, flower petal, fly away. <laughs> Another Lenny Kravitz song. I'm gonna fly away. Yeah, yeah. See, it's sad. My brain works like that. It's like a little radio station. Just flip, 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 flip them channels. I was dangerous when I was younger because I could remember the names of the bands, the name of the song, and poof. I could have done that. Well, we used to watch name that tune. You know, but that was back. You know, they would play like the 60s and 70s music. Well, I guess I knew a lot because my, when I was with my, my Nana all the time, she always had a radio playing at their office. And so, you know, I listened to a lot of music. I guess that's why I know so much about it because we always listened to the radio. It was always on. And she always had it on good music. She didn't have it on old people music she had she had it on like hip music type stuff whatever's going on so but yeah she used to <laughs> type their little bills she had they had to send out they had a little waterworks company so they had to mail bills out and my grandfather always wanted to be personal you know well that was before they had cop you know Computers and all that good stuff. So Nana would be over there on that big old typewriter. Ch -ch -ch, one finger at it. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And then that heavy thing. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yep. She couldn't do more than, she always called it hen pecking. But she, she had some strong fingers because, I mean, she had to do that every month. And she would type out labels. And, and uh, you know, they did have the copy machine, but it was expensive to make a copy. And I'm like, Nana, why don't you just put them on labels and peel them off? Oh, no, 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 no. Daddy said that costs too much money. Because, you know, God forbid Nana saved some time. <laughs> she didn't have nothing else to do. You know, Grandpa was always out and about making all his little rounds and, and you know, whatever he did. Drink coffee, talk to everybody at the bank, drive those ladies crazy. But, you know, he sure made his rounds every morning to all the different banks, making deposits, talking to everybody, drinking a ton of coffee. But that's what he did. Oh, yep. And Anna was steady away typing bills away, <laughs> typing people's addresses on there. And, you know, when somebody moved out and a new person moved into the subdivision, she'd have to go, you know, change their little card file because it was all, you know, by alphabetic and you had to do it and then you had to post everything. But, oh, yep. The good old days. All right. My little thing should be dry enough now. <laughs> oh. So that's how easy it is to do the little wonky pockets. You know, I always just see what I'm putting in here, and then that's where I decide where I'm going to put my top one, and then I just lay the other ones where I want it to go, and then I just, you know, trace it a little bit because I'm here and there. So it's much easier to, to do it if you've got something to follow. And so I think... I think I'm just going to do five cards. I don't know. I have to go go check the thing to make sure that I'm not missing one. But I flipped through my thing a couple of times. And then there might be a straggler tag or something later. But, um, and then we'll just find something to go on here. I don't know what I want on there. Um, let's see. We have lots to choose from. Yeah. Oh, I saw something else that I wanted to use, but I want to introduce something else into here because, you know. Nope, 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 nope. Does any of these Saturday Helper people have anything bluish that goes with the blues? And we have this that's kind of, let's see, that's too long for the little angels. We got little kitty cats. No, nope, that's not going to work. Let's dig through our, our box of joy. These are my Digital Hobby Helper, Saddy Stamper, um, Artsology, Mad Paper Crush. Let's just see if we have... Oh, this is blue, but that might be, once again, too big. But we're going to look. Oh, we have a little oval number. We might have that. We'll grab a few of these things <clears throat> and have a look-see. See what we can see. I know I'm down in here, but I'm digging in my... My Dollar Tree thing. I don't even know what the heck these were called. Did I even save a... 
think on the back of one I saved the black thing to see what it's called. Oh yeah, it's just called fi whoa, File Folder Chemise. It has six pockets. So, it works decent for me. Like I said, until I can get that some other ephemera holders made for these things because, you know, this plastic does kind of... I give myself paper cuts on the end of my cuticles. and oh, Yeah. But, you know, if I didn't have so many to choose from, I wouldn't have that problem. So, it's my own fault. Oh, that's kind of cute. That one, too. It's got some blues. And that's blue, but I don't know. But I will... I think I'll pull these out and put them in my, in the blue scrap bin thing so I know I've got them so I don't have to dig through here again. Oh, here's another, another blue. Oh, that one's pretty too. Some black. Ow, got a cramp in my hand from holding this. You know, it's that finger of mine. Stupid finger. All right. So... I don't know if that's going to be a, a good idea to put them in the other thing because, well, I just pulled them out of the thing, so I don't even know who the heck they're, who they are now anyway. Well, that wasn't a smart idea, now was it? Nope. Nobody said I was a smart crafter. <laughs> just a crafty crafter. Okay, we used number seven, so, oh, and I put number six back in the hole. So let me see. Let's see if we can find number six. Or what else is over here? I don't think I want to use any of these, though. And number six flew away. Yes, it did. There's that little fiber. There's too many flowers now. And we got tickets and stuff. So, all right. Well, I'm just going to have to do it and then go pull another number six because... My number six has ran away. It said it did not want to be glued onto this stuff, so it hit the road. Well, shame on you. And there's always like that blue circle from the kit, but nah. Don't like that either. Okay, well, I guess I answered myself on that, so now we just got to see... How far am I into this? Okay, 37. Um, that's too black. That's probably too blue. But then again, I don't know. I don't like that one. Then there's that one. You know, I'm still kind of leaning to this number 781. So let's see what it looks like on here. You know, your scissors cut better when you don't have junk stuck to the blades. All right. Well, let's see what it looks like. Go away. It's got this white. No, I just I don't know. You know, it's hard just to put one little thing on there. Hmm. Well, it is for me. All right, let me get my little scissors to cut this thing out. See what we can do with it. I know it's not even, so let me go ahead and make a little even. <laughs> oh. And let's see if we can just do, 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 do a little jiggy jaggy. And then we're going to go down down that windy road. You know, we had caffeine, so we got to, oh, we can't drive a straight line. I'm going to poke myself with these shears of his. I tell you that Tim Holtz makes some some sharp scissors. I told y'all that before. 
see, I think I need to have jiggy jaggy sides too because that's just too straight. ink around so I don't see that white because it's interfering with my my craft decisions now I'm just going to ink my fingernails you know I still have that blue ink on here three showers probably a hundred hand washing and I still have that blue ink from that uh, sapphire distress ink that I was using uh, yeah that meant some business too okay I'm gonna put that on there and this and then I think I might look at this other piece of blue that was in the this one kit that we're using to see. If I like it or not. And these are all found numbers by Mad Paper Crush, I believe this other part so mad paper crush a good save just to fill in that empty space and then like I said I don't know I might just leave these plain because you know they're supposed to be like tea cards and tea cards are just supposed to be rectangles so oh I think I will but see I might have to come back and put something there and something there because you know it's going to bother me oh darn it let me pull my little thingies out again oh I know I just can't let them be plain but let me see what do we have it's kind of dark for that one, that one, that black and okay. Let me see. Let's let's cut these and see what it looks like. You know, maybe I just need a, a thinner black border, not so so black on here. I guess I could get my big old. Tim Holtz garden shears out but you know you get a straighter cut if you're doing more than this little snippy but it's not so bad oh I was putting that up there that's what I was doing with that one and then this one I was gonna look at but I think that's I think I need this brown don't know Two, three dollars with that brown one. I know I want this here, so I'm just gonna glue it down before I talk myself out of it. Maybe, okay, I think I know. Got that one on there. And then, like I said, this just isn't going to work for me. I talked myself out of it. But I want to see my shabby dabby doodah. Hold on, somebody's not straight in their little hole. I got to flip them around. Let 
me find number, let's see, number 10, nope, I don't like those, let's see, we have these, that's what I'm thinking of, more brownies, so do we want, we got a four, seven, nine, Maybe number five. I don't know. That's just what's talked to me. So I know we're using number seven somewhere else. Can put that one on there and just let them be kind of simple. They're going to be covered anyway, but at least they'll have something on them. Hold on, I'm fighting with my numbers to get them back in their little hole. Okay. I think I might need to pick up a little more ink. All right, so now we've got something on the little pocket, so the little pockets aren't so naked. With all of our little blendy colors and stuff. It's in my right eyeball, y'all. Oh, I'm fighting it. It's fighting me back really hard. Mm. All right, so we'll put our little tea card, journal cards back in here. Oh. And then we got a big one on this side, so we'll put the little one on here. But I do want my little butterfly to poke up. So you can kind of see him behind there saying, hey. Hey, little butterfly. Hey. Okay. All right. So there we go. We've got that little project, that page done. So two pages down, 20 to go. <laughs> I don't know. There's our little front. See, it turned out pretty. It looks pretty when the light hits them. It was just, you know, so flat and blah. It needed a little bit of stuff. So we did that. And then this is the one we did on yesterday's video. And then this is the one we did today. And then I'm, I'm going to get ready to do something on these other ones. So we will call this done. Let me see if I can clip it. No, I need a bigger paper clip. Hey, let me use one of these. I know it doesn't go with this, but it's going to hold the paper down so I can show you the, the end result. So there you go. That is our wonky pocket that we did. So we have three pockets. Well, three of the small journal cards, I guess. that It was from the flower market kit. And then these are from the flower market kit also. So we got three pockets that we turned out of there because it came with four. But I, I've got three and then um, the five journal cards, which I'm hoping it only had five. But if not, we have room for one more up here. So, but there you go. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I do appreciate it. I do enjoy it. And I hope you like this little project, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a great day. Have a blessed day. And lots of kisses always. Lots of love. And um, thanks for all that you do, and thanks for all your support. And then please, if you like it, click that little like button so we can tell whoever that is, YouTube, that yes, people like the video. So anyway, thank y'all. And I will see y'all tomorrow with some more projects. All right, bye guys.